Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now today for my Java and Flurry series, we're going to be making a coffee card. Love my coffee cards. And today's card is, is going to be fun because it's also, it can be given as a gift. And so um, if you stick around till the end, there's two more examples that I, I made using the same layout. I'm using this stamp set from the Greeting Farm. It's called Perk Up. I've had it in my stash for a while, but it's a cute little stamp and we're just going to create our coffee card with it. I grabbed a piece of white card stock and the coffee cup and then using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to stamp that cup four times. Now I'm only going to use two of the cups, but the top two I'm going to use the lids for. So we're just going to um, color in these images with my alcohol markers. These are Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. For the top cups, I'm just coloring in the lids, and then the bottom, we're just going to color in the, the bases of the cups. Um, I'm not worried about the cup cozy part, because we're going to do something different for that. But there's real fast coloring, and now I'm just going to take my scissors and fussy cut those out. Now I did leave a little bit of a white border around the bottom cups, and then the lids I didn't. I went right around the black line. So there we have it. I'm just going to take some um, foam squares, I'm going to cut one in half and pop up each of those lids and place them on top of my coffee cups for a little bit of dimension. And there we go, those are our little centerpieces. So cute. Okay, next I have a piece of craft cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm, it's 100 pound cardstock. It's my favorite craft paper. Um, I'll leave a link below to where you can check it out. And then I'm taking a large rectangle die and then also a size smaller. The largest one is actually four inches by five and a quarter. So it's just smaller than my card base. And I just cut out a frame with that. Now my frame is about a quarter inch thick, but I'm going to use the inside piece here. Now I picked these up, these are brand new to me, and they're the link chain circle frame dies from MFT. And I'm telling you, I am in love with these. These are beautiful. I love the dainty look of them and I love how delicate they are. It was a good investment for me and um, you'll probably be, be seeing me using those a lot. I'm going to take a, this inside circle and just, I'm going to stamp two of the coffee cups and then I'm going to color them in with my alcohol markers. I'm just going to color in the cup cozy and then we're going to end up fussy cutting those out. Um, the color here looks really dark, but it actually lightens up quite a bit on that craft cardstock. But I'm just shading it in a little bit for a little bit of depth. This card is is gonna be is so fun! Oh my goodness! I, I when I did finished one, I thought, well, the possibilities were endless. So you could, they're not only good for coffee, but they're good for cocoa. They're good for tea for tea lovers out there. Um, I know, oh, I love tea too. Oh my goodness. Um, anyway, I have my cozies colored in and in the stamp set there's a little heart. So I'm going to grab that heart and then take my anti-static powder tool and go over the centers of those cozies. And then I'm going to stamp the heart with my VersaFine ink. VersaMark ink, sorry. <laughs> right in the center. And then I'm just going to go in and add some white embossing powder. And then I'll go ahead and melt it just so my little hearts are nice and vivid and white. I'm going to take my scissors and fussy cut those little cup cozies out. Okay, once we have that done, I'm going in with a dark gray alcohol marker. It's the first one I grabbed and I'm just going around the edges of the craft paper just to, to give it a more finished look. And then I'm going to take some dimensional adhesive and pop those up and place them right on the center of my coffee cup. And there we have it, our cute little coffee cups. <laughs> Adorable. Okay, now I, I'll link all the supplies below in my description area, guys. Now, next I have a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock here, and I'm taking some Broken China Distress Oxide Ink. And this brush here, 
um, is it actually I think it's a paintbrush, but I use it as a blending brush. It for me it gives me a really soft effect um, versus my blending tool. Um, so I really I use these brushes. They're pretty inexpensive, and so I use them for a soft blend. So I just blended a circle about the size of my link chain frame there. And then I went in with some antique linen just to soften up that blue and give it a two-tone. Next I'm going to just add some water droplets and give that, that little section some, some interest there. <laughs> and then I use my heat gun to dry it. Okay, now I'm going to take the smaller rectangle die that I have. Nope. We're not going to do that. We're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm using Rustifying ink for that. And the sentiment for this card is so cute. It says, wake up and enjoy today. I'm using my circle, my my link chain frame as a die, as a die, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. as a guide. <laughs> I'm going to stamp my sentiment towards the top because I want to put my coffee cups right below it. And I think that looks good. Now here's where I went in with my rectangle die and it's the same size as the inside of the frame and I'm going to cut out a panel. I tried to get it as centered as I could. And then while I while I was at it in my stash I have these um, file tabs. They're from Stampin' Up! I've had them for a while and I'm going to create a file tab. I'm going to use that extra piece of white paper on the bottom there. I'm going to move my washi tape and place that there. I need something that will, um, it's easy to pull and I thought the file tab worked great. So I'm just going to die cut all that out. Okay, and separate everything here. And see, I'm just, I'm going to cut out the sides here and then I'm going to use that, that, that part on the top of the file tab as a as a pull tab basically. <laughs> I'm using some score tape to secure that to my panel. That way I know it stays put. I'm just trying to center it and make sure I get it centered. And there, stick that down and trim off the excess. And you're probably thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> but the outcome is so cute and I just I wanted to share it with you guys. It was it was it's a fun little card. And and the possibilities are endless. Okay. Now we're gonna make well that's gonna be our basically our scene, but I'm gonna add some acetate behind my frame. I'm just gonna use my tape runner and go around the bottom and then two sides. I'm gonna leave the top the top no I didn't do that yet. <laughs> I went around all the sides and I'm going to adhere my acetate. There we go. I'm going to trim off the excess. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys. Um, after I get this done, I'm going to add some foam tape to the left and right side and the bottom. I'm going to leave the top open. But um, I've had a lot of requests for you guys wanting to see my rooster, <laughs> the one that talks a lot during the videos. So. I did something very unorthodox, <laughs> so at the end, if you want to check it out, Bubble makes an appearance, but um, I thought that would be fun, so let me know what you think about that one. Um, I had to do it while my husband was gone because he would have probably thought it was crazy, but he, he's a good little rooster. Anyway, here's where I'm put going in with some real thin foam tape going around, again, the left and right side and the, and the bottom. I left the top part open. I'm going to remove the backing and I'm going to place this directly on my card base. For this card base it's four and a quarter by five and a half inch. It's a top folding A2 size card base. I'm going to center it right in the center. Lovely. So now the top part's open. Okay. And it's not that wide, believe it or not. It's, 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 it's actually mailable. I mean a little bulky. You probably have to pay extra postage, but it's mailable. Now I stuck in my sentiment. You see the top pull tab hanging out. You'll probably need a little bit bigger envelope if you plan on mailing this. But I use my glossy accents to adhere my um, my chain leak my frame there. Now 
Next, um, I have from Lawn Fawn. These are Push Me. It's a Push Me stamp set. I think so. Push Here stamp set. Don't push me. Push here. <laughs> okay, yeah. And so this is um, an interactive stamp set. So if you have, um, it has push pull. It's nice, nice stamp set to have for interactive cards. But I chose the sentiment that says pull here, and then there's a little arrow that I'm going to stamp using my um, memento ink right below the the pull here. That way, these every whoever gets this knows to pull. Next, I have this little instant coffee. It's it's a Folgers inst instant coffee pack, and then I have a creamer packet and a sugar packet. I'm gonna throw that inside the envelope there, and then also a little stir stick. <laughs> I'm gonna put that behind there too. So that's my little gift, and then I'm gonna place my panel right on top of it. So the sentiment says, um, wake up and enjoy today, and so when they pull it, they have their own little coffee. I thought that would be like an emergency coffee pack would be a really fun gift. So that's my little surprise gift. And, they, and I have two that I made with, with hot chocolate. It's They're very, very cute little gifts. But anyway, I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere my little coffee cups on the top of my window here. Just kind of arranging them and sticking them. Lovely. And then just for a little accent. I have some natural dew cord. I'm going to double it up and tie a bow. It um, coordinates pretty well with the Nina Desert Storm cardstock there. I'm going to use a glue dot to secure that down. I'm just going to trim off the ends. And there we have it. That is our card. A nice little fun gift card. The neat thing is, oh no, actually, it's not done. We need bling. We need a little shimmer and shine. So I'm using my glossy accents, and then I have some sparkling clear sequins. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. I'm going to add a few here and there on top of the card, just for a little glisten on there. But that's it. You open your card, write your message, and you pull the tab, and you have a emergency <laughs> coffee pack. So I thought that, and it's pretty flat. I was, I was really, I was really liked this, the way this turned out. I'm gonna show you too the the hot cocoa ones that I made. This one here, I used the stamp set that you got free with a Thanksgiving Day sale from Simon Says Stamp. It's it's adorable. It says all you need is love and cocoa. So I put a hot cocoa pack behind there, and it fit perfect. And then this one is from an older stamp set. I think it's an MFT stamp set. Uh, Mary. Christmas, but I added a cocoa, uh, hot cocoa behind there. But those are my cards today. I hope you enjoyed, and this gives you an idea on how to make some fun interactive cards. And are you ready for bubbles? Because he's coming. <laughs> um, I actually brought him in the house, and if my husband came home, he would have killed me. But here's close-ups of the, what they look, the cards look like. And then on my blog, if you want to see the other two cards close up to on the insides, I'll show you those. But here's all three of the cards I made. And I'd like to introduce you to Bubbles. He is my rooster. He's the only one. I had to entice him with cat food. He likes kitty food. <laughs> but this is him. He's the one that makes all the noise. He, he, he wasn't pretend. He's real. <laughs> and he's actually the only... We have two roosters, and um, he's, the, he's the only one that um, talks to me and and likes kitty food. <laughs> but there's his appearance. I thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I wish you a fantastic day, and let me know what you think. Um, I'm afraid, but let me know what you think. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.